Hello Truth Seekers and welcome back to our channel, where we unveil the shocking truth behind the glamorous world of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Ladies and gentlemen, strap in folks because today we're back again with the most intensely spicy goss that's been making the palace rounds this week. And let me tell you fam, the salacious details leaking out about the division of Queen Elizabeth's vast estate has the potential to leave all y'all scorched beyond recognition. But before we delve into the tumultuous waters of this revelation, if you haven't already, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. You won't want to miss the explosive content we have in store. So now, you heard it right people. Word on the diplomacy whisper circuit is that an absolutely savage inheritance breakdown from the late Queen Elizabeth has come to light. And if these unconfirmed reports are to be believed, it's about to expose the ultimate finality of the Montesquieu show millionaire's outcast status in ways even I couldn't dream up. See, according to these tantalizing insights, the iconic Duchess of Corgis basically left everything of consequence to the proper heirs of her inbred empire. King Charles III got it all, baby. The landed duke dorms, the private palaces, the supremely bougie jewels. Even Liz's absurd menagerie of prime racing ponies got forked over like some equestrian powerball jackpot. But you know who didn't receive so much as a souvenir corgi turd from Grandma's castle, despite the nonstop PR campaigning from their Californian compound of psychopaths? That's right, Harry and his wifey didn't score a single inheritance penny from the proceedings. Not one ratty old sapphire choker. Not a rogue Buckingshire acre to call their own. Nothing but the guaranteed promise of having zero claim to any hereditary lands or riches ever again. I mean, can you even picture the shrieking hysteria erupting from Meghan's fame pit soul when she caught whispers of this supreme monarchal snubbing? To spend the last few years vulvariously branding herself as a herd from working princess, while OG Matriarch essentially edited her out of the firm as final chapter once and for all. I'd hate to be the overpriced life coach counseling that volcanic meltdown, that's for sure. Yes, as chalky as it sounds, Her Majesty's ultimate F.U. was robbing Meghan of even the tiniest faint of silver or constitutional credibility upon death. Zip, not a ditty, on the hereditary front, unless the Tig mistress starts plotting on a heist job under Kensington's valet. Short of resurrecting Diana as a Virgin Mary folk hero and stealing corny royal titles, this chick is now royally squat in terms of legitimate bloodline claims. While I'm sure Haas's survey teams have already been leaking false stories about how devastated he is over getting stamped out of Grammy's world dividends, something tells me Palace's world most prominent cuckold prince is breathing an internal sigh of relief, inheriting tens of millions for whatever direct-to-kingdom scripted series this desperate goon envisioned for himself and his garish lackey. Recipe for eternal damnation? If the kaba nut twisting is hard to believe. Besides, we all know this duke secretly worships his new pimp mama for every last penny grant, streamed on the watch of her next shady oligarch bayo. That's the only birthright young Harold has ever truly coveted, the everlasting ability to gaslight his family out of their blood monies while massaging foot cramps for whoever finds his next relapse of lukewarm relevance. An actual inheritance would be sadistic at this juncture. So what do you think about this, guys? Sound off in the comments and let me know what you think. Until then, stay tuned for more shocking stories and scandalous exposés on our YouTube channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated from the latest of the world of the royal family. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Bye for now.